गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अवर फ्री वीडियो लेक्चर क्लासेस आई एम सिद्धार्थ सर एंड टुडे इज आवर वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास एंड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज आवर नेशनल रिवर ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज रिवर गंगा डियर फ्रेंड्स यू नो दैट गंगा इज द लॉन्गेस्ट रिवर फ्लोइंग इन इंडिया इट्स टोटल लेंथ इज 2525 kilometer it passes through two different countries and five different states of india these five different states of india are uttarakhand uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand and west bengal many important cities of india like kanpur varanasi allahabad Patna, Kolkata, etc., are situated on the bank of this holy river. Let us now discuss the entire journey of Ganga from its source to the sea, and also about the numerous distributaries and tributaries of this river on its both sides. My dear friends, you all know that Ganga is created by the merging of two holy rivers. Vagirathi and Alkaranda at a place and the name of the place is Devaprayag before Devaprayag the river ganga is known as bhagirathi river bhagirathi originates from gangotri glacier at a place called gamuk so it's not ganga it's bhagirathi that flows from gamuk we call it ganga when bhagirathi meets alkaranda at a place in uttarakhand and the name of the place is devaprayag so at devaprayag the river bhagirathi and alakaranda meets and the combined stream is known as ganga alakaranda originates from satopan glacier near badrinath so at badrinath there is a glacier the name of the glacier is satopan and from the satopan glacier the river alakaranda originates throughout its journey from badrinath to devaprayag five different rivers meet alakaranda at five different places so when alakaranda originates from satopan glacier at badrinath and up to devaprayag five different rivers meet alakaranda at five different places and these places are known as prayag now what are those prayags let us see the first prayag is vishnu prayag the second prayag is nand prayag third prayag is karn prayag fourth prayag is rudra prayag and the fifth prayag is dev prayag first prayag is vishnu prayag the first prayag is vishnu prayag where the river dholi ganga meets alakananda so at vishnu prayag dholi ganga meets alakananda then the river alakananda flows further downhill and at nand prayag the river nandakini meets alakananda so at nand prayag the name of the river is nandakini and alakananda is constant then the river alakananda flows further downhill and at karn prayag alakananda merges with a river known as pindal river at rudra prayag alakananda river meets mandakini river the river mandakini is also a mighty river that originates at the foothills of holy kedarnath so covering the four prayag vishnu prayag nand prayag karn prayag and rudra prayag one by one finally the river alakananda meets with bhagirathi and gives birth to the holy mother river of india ganga which was announced the national river of india in 2008 so i think that you have understood the prayag the first prayag is vishnu prayag when river alakananda meets dholi ganga in all the prayag the river alakananda remains the same other rivers only change such as as in nand prayag the river nandakini meets alakananda at karn prayag the river pindar meets alakananda at rudra prayag the river mandakini meets alakananda and at devaprayag the river bhagirathi meets alakananda 
and the combined stream of Ganga starts its journey from Devaprayaka. Now Ganga starts its journey from Devaprayaka. At Hardra, Ganga leaves its mountainous course and enters the land of northern India. Actually, you know that the river first of all originates from a mountain, then it enters the plainlet. So when the river Ganga leaves Hardwar in Uttarakhand, it lands on it normal land area or plain land area of India. Now it enters the state of Uttar Pradesh. Now at Uttar Pradesh, there is a place called Kannauj. At Kannauj, the first tributary of Ganga meets Ganga. It is a left bank tributary of Ganga. The name of this river is Ram Ganga. Now Ganga continues its flows across the length of the state Uttar Pradesh and passes by Kanpur. And when it reaches Prayagraj, you know friend, Prayagraj is the other name of the holy city of Allahabad. The longest tributary of Ganga merges with Ganga. And you know that the longest tributary of Ganga is Yamuna river. Now what is tributary? When a small or and thin stream of water or a small river joins a big river, then the small river is known as tributary. The longest tributary of Ganga is Yamuna, which originates from the Yamunatri glacier in Uttarakhand. This Yamuna river is also popularly known as River Kalindi. The cities of Uttar Pradesh and Delhi, they are situated on the bank of river Yamuna. And at Allahabad or Prayagraj, the three rivers of Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati, they march together. This is a very holy place which is even famous for the Kumbha fair. Important cities like Agra and the capital of India, Delhi and also other important cities. I have mentioned only two. They were situated on the bank of river Yamuna. Yamuna is a very important river. It's not only important for its length, it is also important for its history and cultural importance. Now let us discuss about the tributaries of Yamuna also. The three famous tributaries of Yamuna are Chambal, Betwa and Ken. All these three rivers originate from Madhya Pradesh. Chambal originates from Indo, Betwa is a river which originates from the Bindha ranges and Ken, Ken river originates from the Kaimur ranges. All these three rivers originate from the state of Madhya Pradesh and then they meet Ganga in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Ganga flows further and passes Varanasi and then it passes and enters the state of Uttar Pradesh. So Yamuna, Chambal, Betwa, Ken, all these are right bank tributaries of Ganga. Let me discuss about another important right bank tributary of Ganga that is known as Son River. Son River, it originates in the Amarkantak Plateau of Madhya Pradesh. Then it flows upward and meets Ganga near Patna. Now let us discuss the left bank tributaries of Ganga. The important left bank tributaries are Ramganga, Gomti, Ghagara, Gandak and Koshi. And also you can add another river, its name is Mahananda. I have already discussed about Ramganga. Now let me discuss about uh, the course of Gamati, Ghagara, Gandak and Koshi. Gomti is such a river which unlike other rivers doesn't originate from a mountain. Rather, it originates from the plain land and then it meets Ganga in the state of Uttar Pradesh. The capital of Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow is situated on the bank of river Gomti. Gomti is a very mighty river. Gomti and then Ghagra river is also very important. Ghagra emerges after meeting of two rivers, Kali and Karnali. Both this Kali and Karnali, 
they originates from Nepal. The Kali River in Nepal is known as Sharda River in India. When this Sharda River meets the Ghagra River, it, the combined stream is also known as Ghagra. The Karnali River in Nepal is known as Ghagra in India. So when Kali and Karnali they combine, the combined stream is known as Ghagra River. This Ghagra River also meets Ganga in the state of Bihar. Gandak River, important river. Gandak River is the longest flowing river in Nepal. Then it enters India and in the state of Bihar, it meets Ganga. So, Gamuti, Ghagra, Gandak, Koshi, Ram Ganga and Gomti, they meet Ganga in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Ghagra, Gandak and Koshi, these three rivers meet Ganga in the state of Bihar. Let me discuss about the Koshi river which is very important. Every year Koshi used to be responsible for the havoc flood in the state of Bihar. That's why Koshi was known as the Soro of Bihar. Now after meandering its courses in Bihar and in Jharkhand, our river Ganga enters the state of West Bengal. There is a place in West Bengal near Murshidabad. The name of the place is Farakka. A barrage has been constructed in Farakka which regulates the flow of water of Ganga River in West Bengal and Bangladesh. From Farakka, the mainstream of Ganga enters Bangladesh and it is there known as Padma. Another distributary of Ganga flows into the length of West Bengal. When a small river joins a big river, the small river is known as tributary. And when a small river leaves a big river and maintains its own course, then the small river is known as distributary. So the Ganga, which we see in West Bengal, it is a distributary of the main Ganga. And in West Bengal, it is known as Bhagirati Hugli. The Hugli River falls in the Bay of Bengal. Now, let us uh, have some knowledge about a very important river which is known as the Soro of Bengal. As Koshi is the Soro of Bihar, there is another river which was known as the Soro of Bengal that is Damodar River because of its infinity about causing flood every year. But in the year 1956, the Damodar Valley Corporation was set up which could contain the flood situation in Bengal. Damodar Valley Corporation or in brief DVC is the first public sector undertaking of India. This Damodar River originates in the Chotanagpur Plateau and then flowing in West Bengal, it meets the river Kugli Bhagirati. Now let us discuss about the Ganga River which flows in Bangladesh. The river Ganga that is flowing in Bangladesh is known as Padma. Another mighty river of India, Brahmaputra, that also enters Bangladesh. And in Bangladesh, its name is Jamuna. It's not that Yamuna river of India that flows near Delhi. It's Jamuna that enters Bangladesh from Assam. In Assam, the Jamuna river is Brahmaputra. And then Brahmaputra takes the name Jamuna and enters Bangladesh. The combined stream of Padma and Jamuna, that means Padma and Jamuna, they meet in a particular place in Bangladesh and the combined stream is known as Meghna and this has given birth to the biggest delta and mangrove forest in the world known as Sundarban. So dear friends, when Padma and Jamuna combines, this give rise to a third river, its name is Pad Meghna. Meghna is even mightier than the two rivers and when Meghna falls in the Bay of Bengal, it gives rise to the biggest delta. Delta means triangular shaped islands. This biggest delta is famous for mangrove forest of Sundari trees. That's why this forest is known as Sundarban. 
so this was the entire story of our holy river ganga the impact of ganga in our cultural social and economic life is so massive that we the indians proudly call her the mother river of india and you know that this is the national river of india it was announced the national river in the year 2008 the ministry of water resources river development and ganga rejuvenation has been entrusted with the charge of conservation development management and abatement of pollution in the river ganga and its tributaries in may 2019 this ministry was merged with the ministry of drinking water and sanitation to form the ministry of jal shakti dear friends i hope you like this video we will appreciate your comments on the quality and contents of this video and that is for our betterment i also request you to subscribe to our channel and also like and share our video so that this video is reached to each and every indian who love and respect his motherland thank you god bless us all